<laughs> well, uh, we want to take you back here. And what a wonderful story, an empowering story. A lakeside woman has been crowned this year's Miss Rodeo USA. Now, here to tell us all about her experience for 2014 is Miss Rodeo USA, Elisa uh, Swenson. Good morning. So happy morning. to have you here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. So, so tell us a little bit about, uh, well, first, I got to point out your blue boots because that is oh. just so cool. You're, you're just <laughs> blue head to toe. Dyed to match. I know. I, lo I love it. Um, so tell me a little bit about your journey, at least, uh, with the rodeo. I know that for a lot of women, it's not just a beauty contest. You're gorgeous, but you're also very empowering to women because of what you do out there. Yes, it's a little different than the average pageant. You do ride on horseback, so you utilize a lot of different skills. Mm -hmm. But what got me into rodeo queening was I was actually on a trail ride with a friend, and her name is Nikki Tremblay, and I started leasing a horse from her. And she asked which one of us was going to run for a local pageant. Mm -hmm. And I said, what is that? <laughs> and it was just an adventure from there on out. How neat. So now, um, now you've made it to the top. And uh, it's pretty exciting. Now, you do have another journey ahead of you. You're going to be moving to Oklahoma. So tell me what it's like to become Miss USA, Miss Rodeo Queen USA. And then now you're going to be heading out. Well, it's a week-long pageant. And it varies from modeling, horseback riding, as well as speeches and written tests. So there's this very extensive testing that you go through to become Miss Rodeo USA. But what comes next is you don't necessarily have to move to Oklahoma but they do encourage it just because it's so centralized and it's so much easier to go from rodeo to rodeo out there. Sure. Makes sense. Yes. Now tell me uh, your start with horses. I know that's a touching story as well. Yes. When I was a little girl, my dad said still to this day, he has no idea why I wanted to start riding horses. Neither him or my mother rode, but he started enrolling me in lessons and my mother was so terrified that mm -hmm. I was going to get hurt. And so she really asked please don't ride anymore. So I didn't ride and she enrolled me in things like piano and art and <laughs> things that are wonderful but unfortunately wasn't really my niche. Mm -hmm. And when I was 10 years old, I lost my mother to breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And my dad and I went all over the, the country visiting family and throughout our travels I attended my first rodeo in Montana. And he found that I had this passion. He remembered how much that I loved horses. So he sent me off to horse camp and I didn't want him to leave me, but he mm. promised me that I would be begging for a horse when I got home. And he was right. Mm. And horses really brought me back to life when I had that darkness. You know, that's what you said. I like that quote that you said. It really did bring you back to life. And now you have made it to the top. And so what are kind of your uh, philanthropic, uh, uh, I guess, achievements? And what do you hope to achieve as you continue on with this? Well, as Miss Rodeo USA, you do have a platform. And my platform is Brand Your Attitude. And what I'm hoping to do is encourage others to think more positively. Given my, my story and my background, you would think that it could overtake your life. And what I want to do is let others know that regardless of your experiences, we all have ups and downs through our lives to not let them define you. Right. And you know, I think one of the things that you do so well is you have this hobby that kind of takes you away. So tell yes. me a little bit about what that does for your spirit. Well, horses really help me escape. They, when I'm out there, when I'm roping or just riding in general a trail ride, you kind of forget everything else that's going on in the world. And I really encourage others to, whether they find a hobby that helps them do that or exercise or whatever it might be, just find that time to relax and take time for you. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Now, uh, tell us a little bit why you're here in San Diego and what you're promoting uh, coming up here. Um, well, I'm coming home. I had a huge welcome when I got off the plane. Um, I guess they were telling me people were letting them know I was coming. They said, Isn't that incredible? she's in the bathroom, she's coming. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Paparazzi yes. coming out of the woodworks. But That's just a wonderful. welcome home party and I think we're, we're organizing a fundraiser to help support me throughout my year. Beautiful. And then we have to say goodbye eventually too because you're going back to Oklahoma. Yes. Well, we'll have to get that all organized and put together so you have a nice farewell. Thank and you. And you'll be back soon, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. All right. We'll still come here on Good Morning San Diego. Well, you know, this is the